Santana makes the catch. Ball game. The Indians have won the American League pennant. And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League. Here's the 0-2. Swung on. There goes the deep left. It is high. It is far. It is gone. He's done it again. It's unbelievable. He's done it again. I have run out of superlatives. He is the Sanchino. Gary is <laughs> scary. He hits another home run, and the Yankees have an 8-4 lead. Dansby Swanson cracks one to center field. That ball's well hit. Turner going back. It's over his head, and that's going to ricochet back toward the infield. Dansby's got two. He's on his way to third. They're going to wave him. Here comes the throw to the plate. Dansby Swanson is safe. It's an inside-the-park home run. His first big league homer and inside the park bomb in Washington. Can you believe that? Down along the right field line. And Rizzo on the ledge. He's got it. Oh, what a play. <laughs> well, the bobblehead company. We got the tarp catch. Now we got the ledge catch. Both against the Milwaukee Brewers. Give him the gold glove right now. High fly ball, right center field. Marisnik back to the triangle. Long, long, long run. He won't get it. And the Red Sox walk off with the win. How do you like that? Big puppy again. David Ortiz, an extraordinary final season. Daytime baseball here on MLB now, Network should be a fun Father's Day matchup between the New Washington York Nationals Mets. and the New York Mets. Live baseball here on MLB Network and it comes your way next. Seth Lugo gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. What do we need to know here HR. Well, Matt, his last outing was curious to me. That's the word I'll use as curious, because if you go five innings, you get that five and bail, right? Well, he went five innings, but then he got the loss. He just wasn't able to go further. I think he's got to give them a little more distance and be able to execute his pitches early on a little bit better in this game. In now is Adam Eaton, and he's a guy that's not afraid to run if he gets aboard. Comes in ranked second on the team in stolen bases. High fly ball after straightaway center. Ligares is under it. One away. And here's how the Nats line up in this one. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, I'm definitely excited to see the werewolf, Jason Worth, take the field. He was the catalyst for this ball club last month. He had an on base percentage of over 400. And when you're doing that, you're really helping your team. At the plate, Anthony Rendon. And the average isn't pretty down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Our temperature hot but not overly hot 87 degrees here at first pitch. Hot shot on the ground is short right to Cabrera. Throw gets him two down. Batting third. Second Here's Daniel play. Murphy now Daniel and there's a look Murphy. at his home and road splits so far this year. Here's the one and one delivery and there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. These Mets Harold as they take the field here today they have not been playing their best baseball of late as they've dropped four of their last five. Yeah man I mean you really want to end the homestand on a great note this is the last game at home. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Lagares going back on it. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. And now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Tanner Roark will be on the mound for game four. What do you have for us on him, H? 
What I like about him is his maturity. You can tell that from a pitcher, how they pitch on the road. He has pitched really well on the road and been able to focus, and I think he'll carry that same trend into this game as well. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Here's the one and one pitch. A fastball right over the outside corner. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Murphy is there for it. He's got it one away. Batting second. Coming to the plate now as Dribble Cabrera, currently third on the team in stolen bases. So we'll see if he gets an opportunity to do any running in this one. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Right over the middle, knee high. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Well, Fillmore is the type of umpire. He's going to give you a little in some areas and take away the others. And what I mean by that, he's going to call a little wider on the corners. But up and down, he's going to take that away from you. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Michael Coming to the plate now, Michael Conforto. And he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Lays off two and two now. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. We are still scoreless. Digging in, Bryce Harper. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. The one and two pitch. Swing and a ball sliced fouled into the seats down the left field line. Matt, I like the last two pitches. A change up and then a fastball. And he's late with the swing on the fastball right there. You got him in between right now. And that's an advantage to the pitcher. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff hitter in the inning reaches safely for the Nationals. Well, that's what you'd call getting on top of one high fastball, and he was able to stay with it and just slapped it the other way for a hit. Here's Adam Lind. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Ready with the 1-1 one -one now to Lind. On the ground is short. This could be two. Here's Walker for one. Back to first, and it'll be in time to take care of Lind, a double play. Left fielder, Jason Worth. Here's Jason Worth, and this is a good-looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right-handers this season. Two and two count. Here it comes. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Here's Neil Walker. He did his part yesterday afternoon as he cashed in with three hits in the losing effort. Ready on one and two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Walker will take the turn here and look for second now. And he will make it to second base as it begins the home second with a double. You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. It is Curtis Granderson, his career line against Roark up until this point. He's got eight hits in 26 at-bats. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Oh. 
And that misses for ball four. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right there, and you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Ready to deal. Here's the 2-1. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. First and second here with nobody out. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Nationals. And I'm looking at the catcher, Matt Wieters. Biggest compliment I ever heard from Matt Wieters. Nobody catches a throw from the outfield and tags a runner better than him. He'll take a shot, too. He also calls a pretty good game. Digging in, Rene Rivera. He begins playing this one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Three and two now. Well, we got a big pitch coming up now. That's ball three right there. And look at with this situation with two guys already on, you don't want to load the bases. You've got to come after him and swing the bat. Here comes the payoff pitch. And a double steal try here. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Another payoff pitch. Now the runners take off again. And another foul ball. The next 3-2. And both runners are off again. But he won't have an opportunity to throw either man out. It's ball four, and the bases are suddenly loaded now with only one away. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Here's the one and one pitch takes this the other way to right. Harper is there. Let's see if they test it. Now the relay home. The tag and he is out at the plate. And so much for our first run of the ball game. A couple of walks but no damage to complete scoreless here on MLB Network. Welcome back to daytime baseball on the show from City Field. Thanks for joining us. Here's the catcher Matt Wieters now and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Missed with the curveball there and he falls behind a two and one. Wow that was a decent breaking ball right there but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed opposite back. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Steven Drew. Here's the shortstop now, Stephen Drew. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And this one is gone, a home run. So it's a solo home run for Stephen Drew. Seven home runs for him on the year now. As the Nationals strike first, it's one to nothing. That one definitely seems worth taking a look at with show track. It wasn't a particularly deep home run, but as you can see, he connected pretty well. 110 miles an hour off the bat, and it got out of here in a hurry. In now, Tanner Roark. Swing and a liner back through the box. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting, 
the center fielder. Digging Adam in to try it again. Adam Eaton. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here it comes, 0 and 2. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Lagares ranging back. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Nats on the board first, courtesy of the solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 1-0 Washington. Stepping into the box, Seth Lugo, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Here it comes on one and one. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Popped high in the air. Lind just to the right of the mound. Makes the play one away. Third baseman number seven. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's up near the top, currently tied for second in that category in the National League. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Here's the pitch on two and two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Harper has a read on it. And that retires the side. Mets go down one, two, three. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. In now is Anthony Rendon. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So the fourth inning opens with a leadoff single. A lot of base hits up the now middle. Set your sights up the alleys. And try to take it back up the Daniel middle hard like you Murphy. did right here. Nice job. Riding in once again, Daniel Murphy. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One run on three hits and no errors so far for the Nationals. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. There's one. On to first. Not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. The right fielder, number 34. Bryce Into the box Harper. now. Bryce Harper, a base hit in his first trip. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Out of play off to the right. He hit that change up hard. Man, he saw it good. Just wasn't able to keep it fair. Now another 2 2. High in the air out to center field. Lagares is under it. Two down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now about it. Digging in for his second at bat. Adam, Adam Lind. Lind. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this is fouled back and out of play. The 1 2 pitch. And that is down as that could be two bases. Murphy rounds the corner and is headed home. Top of the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. 
So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Into the box, Jason Worth. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. He's set. Here's the three and two. Right side hit hard. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base. As even with two away, they didn't it? like their chances Jeffrey. there. Matt Weeder. Stepping in now, Matt Wieters, as he lifts it in the air to right field. And Granderson will make the catch, and the inning is over. One for the Nationals on the RBI double. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's 2-0 Washington. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Nope. And that misses, 2-1. and one. Well, it's 2-1 and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at-bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Standing in now, Neil Walker. And he takes a cold strike two. This is pulled into right. Harper is there. Two down. All right, well, this one three. was squared up pretty good. Ernest. But just like pitchers Go give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Into the box now, Curtis Granderson. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. The 2 1 now to Granderson. Slider up that he gets a call on. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Here's a swing and a high pop up drifting toward the third base dugout. A payoff pitch one more time. He pulls this one into right and Granderson will be aboard with a base hit. Matt did you see where they were playing him. They're playing him in the ship and he just did not care. If he hit the ball hard I guess that's his philosophy. It was going to get through anyway and we saw it right there. Base hit into the ship. In now, Travis Darno. And there's ball two now. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. A high fastball is in there. Well, that's a high fastball in the low 90s. That is a dangerous, dangerous pitch right there. He got away with one. The guy took the pitch. Maybe he's just measuring him up. I wouldn't come back with that again. 
And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? He's running toward second, hit back up the middle, and the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. And he's safe. Well, two outs, they send the runner. Now, it's more, to me, a run and hit in this situation. Puts the ball in play, gets the base hit. Now you got runners in first and third. Stepping in now, Rene Rivera. Fastball is looked at for strike two. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hit on the ground out to short. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We played four full. Nationals on top. Two to nothing. Here's the shortstop now, Stephen Drew. He'll start off the fifth in this one. And this is going to be a foul ball. The one and two pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Walker's got it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting, catcher. Stepping in, Tanner, Tanner Roark. Roark comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hey. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. One out, nobody on. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. I always like watching pitchers that attack with the fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far on this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. Standing in now, Adam Eaton. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Ready with the two and two. Hard hit ball to second. And that is in there for a two out base knock. So the two out base hit on the top of the inning is still alive. Around second, he's on his way to third. And he's in there easily. It's a stand up triple. That pitch was executed perfectly down and away in the zone. He stayed How about with it? it and got the base Third hit. Baseman. Man, great hand eye coordination. Rendon. Digging in once again, Anthony Rendon. A hit in two tries so far. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line and left. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. And he is in to second base with an RBI double. Clichés are around for a reason. And that second hit right baseman. there is a reason they Daniel say baseball Murphy. is a game of inches, right? Just barely fair, but that's not much consolation to the guy standing on the mound. Nice RBI two-bagger. Into the box, Daniel Murphy. That misses one and two. Two strikes on the hitter and two outs. I like this. You got to get this out here. You don't want them to drive in a run and you go down four. You keep it at three, you still got a chance to break it open and win on a big inning. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And the run will come across to score from second, and they open it up to four nothing now. Ready once again, Bryce Harper trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Hit in the air out to center field. Lagara is giving chase. And the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Last half of the fifth coming up, it's the Nationals four and the Mets nothing. 
Here's Juan Lagares. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Full count. Three and two. Well, they haven't had a lot of offense in this game. Right now, though, you got three balls here. Maybe this will be the leadoff walk that gets things going for them. Fly ball out toward left center field. Eaton on the move. He's there and records the first down. So still nothing no against him on the scoreboard Enter. here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard Ooh, for no. Team ERA. And you can see that these guys are, as we speak, fourth in the NL in that category. T.J. Rivera will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. No runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets' line score so far. Ground ball sent back up the middle, gloved by Murphy. In time to first, and there are two away. Third baseman, number seven, Jose. Ready for another chance? Jose Reyes, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Two out, nobody on. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. Those 0 2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Two and two count. Here it comes. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Hit on the ground toward the left. There to field is Drew. And he'll beat the throw to first despite a fantastic effort. And that ought to be scored an infield single. Here now is his Drubal Cabrera. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Throw over to the bag, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Set to deal on two and two. Pitch outside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitches don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And that's in there. Base hit. Reyes is on his way home. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. It's now a 4-1 game. Two out, two strikes, down to the last strike of the inning. And he's able to hang in there and drive the ball for a base hit. Good job of battling right there. Into the box now, Michael Conforto tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Two out with the man at first. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Toward second. Pitch outside the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. 
Mets played a run on a couple of hits. Five innings complete. The Nationals lead it four to one. Digging in and looking for more, Adam Lind, one for two with a double on his line thus far. Rafael Montero will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Rafael Montero. One and two, here it comes. Sharp slider that time, just missed inside. Here's the 2 2 home to Lind. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Here's another 2 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Another try at 2 2. To short, hit hard. Backhanded. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting, left fielder, Jason. Here's Jason Worth. Worth. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Sixth inning, 4 to 1 is our score. Mind to the right side, but good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Now batting. Jackson. Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters, now. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. The one and two pitch. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington as they hold on to a four to one lead. Ready for another chance. Michael Conforto 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left hander and a right hander throwing. Slider is in there and now it's one and two. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch to contact kind of guy. And obviously, it's working so far. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Never fun to see a pitch come up and in, but obviously, not being a fastball, he didn't mean anything by it. Fly ball out to right field. Under it is Harper, and Bryce has got it for the first down. Now batting. Here's Neil Walker. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Here it comes. Hey. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Ball two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in on it is Eaton. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now batting. Right fielder. Digging in Curtis. once again. Curtis Granderson. Granderson. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Here it comes. Fouled straight back, and that got up here to the press box. That's a good pitch right there. Two strike breaking ball on the edge of the strike zone, and he was able just to get a, a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Steven Drew set to start things out when we return. It's the Nationals four and the Mets one. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Nationals on top in this one as we get ready for the seventh. But first, let's check out the game summary to see how we got here. 
Riding in once again, Stephen Drew. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. And Drew able to pull this one hard down the line, but it's going to get back up into the crowd. A foul ball. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Ligares is under it. One away. Up next for the National. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Tanner Roark. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Ligares is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Center fielder, number two, Adam Eaton. In now is Adam Eaton. He's working on a one for three thus far. We're in the seventh now. Four to one, our score to this point. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Played on the backhand. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order, but they lead it four to one. Joe Nathan gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Joe Nathan. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. One for two on his line so far in the game. And the pitch. A slider that time that runs away. It's three and one now. Rene Rivera will be next. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3 1 count. The ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, with the leadoff man getting on right there, Matt, they are falling so far behind, they have to capitalize. They have to get some runs to get back in this thing. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Here's Juan Ligares. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. But any thoughts of a throw will be academic here. It's ball four, and the bases are suddenly loaded now with still nobody out. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? The single probably drives in a couple of runs. Trevor Gott is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. Joanna Cespedes will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Now the Nats are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Smoked on the ground up the middle. The second for one. And that didn't work out too well as the pinch hitter comes on to bounce into a double play. A base is loaded. Last thing you want to do is ground into a double play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. Stepping in now, Jose Reyes. Here's a high pop-up. Room for Weeders behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Washington leads this one four to two. 
Fernando Salas has been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll Mets. do so to start the eighth. Number 59, Fernando Salas. In now is Anthony Rendon. Two for three with a double on his line so far. He's set. Here's the three and two. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Ready for another shot now. Daniel Murphy. Mike time versus this pitcher. Hitless in three at bats. The 1 1 pitch. The change up right on the outside corner for a strike. Getting late 4 2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Well, I don't know if that was a great take or he's just flat out full because that curveball was really close. What a great pitch with two strikes. Drilled to the right side. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The right well, the good ones have that back control. You see right there, right. he had a hole on the right Harper. side. First base was holding. Second base was playing double play depth. And he shot it right through there on the right side for the hit. Nice job. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. None out. Runners at first and second. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Into the second deck and gone. A three-run homer here for Bryce Harper. Number 14 on the season. And the lead is now 7-2. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Standing in now, Adam Lind lifted in the air to center field. Ligares is under it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting. Fielder. Ready once Jason again, Jason Worth. Worth. Lifetime against this pitcher, two for ten. Aye. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. He's set. Here's the two-two. And Worth is going to reach. That's a base hit. Oh, the changeup. Executed nicely, and he still got a, a ground ball. The they got the base hit. He got That's his ground ball. He did everything he wanted to do. Weeder. Sometimes it just doesn't work out for you. Into the box, Matt Weeders. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Ligaris racing back. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice well, about trying to move up. Shortstop, Stephen. Here's the Drew. shortstop now, Stephen Drew. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another full count pitch home. Fouled straight back. Once again, a 3 2. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. He's got it. Flips it underhand. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Not Running at bat. Eight pitches, and on the eighth pitch, he gets a fastball and gets a base hit. That's what you call seeing everything the pitcher has to offer. Trey Turner will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Trey Turner. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Three runs already home here. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. 
But the Nationals strike for three, all coming via this three-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Nationals seven and the Mets two. Your Sammy Solis please. is on to now pitch out of the bullpen Washington. in the bottom half of the Number eighth. 36, Sammy Solis. As Drupal Cabrera will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. Toward the gap in right center, this is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And he'll get in there with a hustle double. Well, it isn't exactly earth shattering, but when you struggle like they have at the plate all day, you take any extra base hit that you can get. If they can string together a few at bats like that, they're going to get right back into this thing. Now to the plate, Michael Conforto. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. No one out with a runner at second. Now a flare out to left center. Drew onto the grass. He's there and records the first down. Here's Neil Walker. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Neil Walker. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. After it is eaten, he makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. That was a nice job to track that one down in the alley because it definitely saved the run from scoring. Instead, he's only able to move up to third. It is Curtis Granderson. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Breaking ball taken right down the middle. Well, maybe that fooled him, or maybe he wasn't looking for it, but man, he hung him a curveball right there in the middle. For him to not swing the bat, being the got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Mets leave one. They're down five. It's seven to two. In now is Adam Eaton. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. One and one. Here it comes. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. This is swung on and popped up, crossing into foul territory now behind third. And Reyes will take this one for the first down. Anthony Digging in to try it again. Anthony Rendon, two for three with a double on his line so far. To third. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now batting. Second base. Here's Daniel Murphy now. A couple of singles Murphy. for him in four trips for him this afternoon. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Oh, Matt, look, it's real simple. If you're going to throw the ball down the middle in the big leagues, you're going to get hammered. He's got to put the ball in the corner if he wants to have any chance. Swing and a liner. Foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Over the bullpen and gone. A solo shot there for Daniel Murphy. Number 10 for him on the year as it's now a six run ball game. Well he really hit that ball well just got great extension and didn't miss the pitch.
in now. Bryce Harper. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Lagaris going back to the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he is in the second base with a double, his third hit this afternoon. When you play with fire, you have to expect now to get batter. burned once in a while. He's about as hot as you Adam can get right now. Lynn. They continue to pitch to him, and he continues to make them pay. Nice double off the wall here. Stepping in now, Adam Lind. Line fouled off to the left and a few rows back. Two out here and a runner at second. Turned on down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Nationals able to add on thanks to the long ball. Last chance coming up here for the Metropolitans. It's the Nationals eight and the Mets two. Blake Trinan comes on to start the inning and he'll have a huge lead to work with. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And that one right down Main Street. And the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. The next three two swing and a miss and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here one away really good late bite on that slider right there the First best ones have that 44. late action that just darts Rene at the last Rivera. minute they're so tough to get the bat on and when you've got that good slider going it's a great strikeout pitch now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there into the box now Rene Rivera taking all the way that time it's three and one well these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever it's a major part of his arsenal and he takes a cold strike at the knees and that'll run things full back up the middle and that finds its way into center for a one out base hit They've left a lot of men on base. They've had plenty of opportunities. And here's another one. After a base hit, they find themselves with another runner on. Let's see if they can bring somebody home this inning. Standing in now, Juan Ligares. Mowing away with that one. It's one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit on the ground out to short. And this is past the shortstop groove for a base hit. Well, another single. Now they're first and second. They've been swinging the bat great all day, but they haven't come up with the big hit to break an inning open. Maybe that's coming. Jake Bruce will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 19, Shay. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit, and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. This is on the ground over to first, and that is into right field, a base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third, so they're loaded now with only one away. Third baseman, Jose Reyes. 
Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden this thing feels doable. And that one finds the target on the outside corner, two and two. Bases are loaded here, one man out. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Another 2-2 offering. Outside and a full count, 3-2. and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. This one's down to third. To second for one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they end this thing with style, turning that double play to preserve the win. That's what we call finishing strong. Eight to two is how this one ends today. Tanner Roark earned his ninth win of the year. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Washington Nationals. Eight runs on. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening.